I feel like I should be a blacker comedian. Is that weird? Because <laughs> the sound that comes out of my mouth isn't the sound you think of when you think of black comedy, but I'm more of a stereotype in life than I am on stage. Like, I've been arrested, my dad left us for drugs, my credits, whatever. And <laughs> all my jokes were like, knock, knock, who's there? Geometry's gay, right? <laughs> but I know black comedians whose dads drive them to their shows and they come from really good families and all their jokes are like, yo, white people be eating arugula. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Should have thought of that. <laughs> Black people in the audience, I'm not gonna call you out, but when, just round of applause. When you walk into a room, do you count the black people? <laughs> You're clapping. <laughs> 99% of black people do. I hope none of you guys in the front row do. Uh, that would be weird. <laughs> Every black person I know does it. And it's because you don't want to be the only one in the room, right? It's weird. It's a weird feeling. I don't know if white people have that. Maybe you do. Maybe you have that feeling sometimes. Because if you're black and you walk in a room full of white people, you're like, whatever. It's just another room. But if you're white and you walk in a room full of black people, you're like, I think I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> Most rooms are for me. <laughs> this one is not. <laughs> That's funny. I like to talk about race, especially in New York, but there's like a lot of, like I'm a liberal, but there's too many liberal, guilty white people, and it really makes me sick. <laughs> it's just, because I don't think it comes from an honest place, if I'm being completely honest. I don't think it comes from an honest place, because you can feel the tension when you bring up race in front of liberal white people, not because they're afraid that any black person's feeling is gonna be hurt, they're worried that a fight's gonna break out, which is so much more racist. Because it's not like, I hope Derek's not upset about that racial joke because that would bum us all out. It's like, I hope he's not upset about that joke because you know how they get. <laughs> so don't be worried. I'm actually half Puerto Rican, half Dominican. I, uh, I don't know if you guys know anything about Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, but they are stereotypically don't get along, which means I am the product of hate fucking. <laughs> I used to be one of those Dominicans like, I'm not black, I'm Dominican, but I stopped doing that. Everybody's like, you're black. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I stopped correcting people because when the race war comes, it's not gonna help, right? You know what I mean? Like being Dominican has never gotten me out of a jam. <laughs> Some skinheads come to my house and wanna beat my ass. They're not gonna change their mind if I go, guys, you're making a big mistake. I'm Dominican. <laughs> They're not gonna be like, oh, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed right now. <laughs> Ah, uh, Jethro, it's the wrong house. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. <laughs>